Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you your weekly love read for August 9th through the 15th. Um, this reading is going to be for Taurus. Hey Tauruses, how are ya? Um, we're going to get the you, them, and the connection. Um, I have a couple of other cards. We're going to do a romance oracle card, a twin flame journey message, and a divine dog wisdom card. Um, these readings are general, so if this does not resonate with you, then that's okay. Leave it and uh, leave what doesn't resonate with you and keep the rest. Um, if you want to check out your moon and rising, you're welcome to do so. There is a link in the description box that will take you to a web website that will, um, you plug in your information and it'll tell you what your moon and rising signs are and a lot of other information. Oh, Taurus. Looks like you're going through some sadness. Oh, your person might be going through some stuff too. Let's see about the connection for Taurus and their person. Oh, oh, Taurus, this looks sad. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, um, Aries just got this bottom of the, or no, not bottom of the deck. They got this in the read. Um, on the bottom of the deck is the page of swords. So you or your person is kind of keeping tabs on each other through social media, through friends and friends, um, trying to be, trying to be kind of behind the scenes, finding out information about the other person, um, curiosity about what they're doing, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. So, um, I feel like this is a, a potential prior connection or relationship. Sorry. Um, so with the cards and the way they look, so let's, let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. So we have, um, this four of wands energy, which is stability. Um, four of wands energy often is a twin flame connection, um, marriage, um, celebration, a solid, stable situation, right? Um, so you're coming in as this very stable, solid person that wants a, a true connection. Uh, but there's a lot of competition or conflict. So perhaps you are one of many people that your person is interested in. Um, but there's a lot of conflict, a lot of competition, um, and you are feeling heartbroken and sad. So you want this stable situation, but there's so much conflict and competition. There's like five people there. Yeah, I have my finger on one of them. Five people fighting over some the same fire. Um, and you're sad, Taurus. Your person, we have the hanged man. Oops, the hanged man, the ace of swords, and the devil card. So the hanged man usually um, is a pause in a situation. A sur you surrender to something. You're not really moving. You're not making choices. You're just kind of stagnant or stuck. Um, it does tend to be healing, um, but you're not making any decisions or choices, right? So your person's not making choices. You, they might have all these options. They're just not making choices. They are trying to get clarity. They're trying to get clarity, have a clear mind, have a clear start. Um, but there's this devil energy too, which tends to be um, addictions or codependencies, toxic behavior, toxic relationships. So perhaps your person's trying to figure out what the heck they need to do. Perhaps some of these people in conflict or this, a person is very toxic or addictive, or perhaps your person has some addictive tendencies too. Who knows? I mean, you would know Taurus. Um, but I feel like they're trying to make a decision. I feel like they're trying to make a decision. They're kind of stuck, but there's some hangups, right? Like, and it could be self-induced hangups. Could be drugs, alcohol, could be um, sex, could be work, could be addictive type behaviors, could be codependent behaviors, or could just be like a toxic person that's really kind of just screwing with them. Um, as far as the connection, doesn't look doesn't look right. Um, there's been like lies and deceptions happening in this connection. So someone's not being honest. It doesn't mean they're necessarily like cheating on you, but they're not being honest with what's happening. Um, the, the, the situation has a potential for teamwork or it could be someone related to your job. Like maybe you're dating someone at your job, but, um, 
yeah, this teamwork, there's a potential to work together, but there's like lies and deceptions. And then um, this, this connection is going to move away to calmer waters, right? So I don't know if you're moving together or moving away together or separately. So I'm going to clarify this card to see if I can figure anything else out because the teamwork card is there. So it's not like they're not willing to put in the work. It's just, I think they're stuck in that hangman energy. So let's see what this uh, six of swords, are you moving away together or are you moving away separately? So move it on to calmer waters. Oh, the Seven of Swords popped up again. And the Moon card. And the Seven of Cups again. Oh, that was in the other. <laughs> seven of Cups was in the last reading. And the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. Uh, I think, you know, the Moon card is kind of a card of the unknown, right? So maybe we're not supposed to know if you're moving on together or separately. But the Moon card also represents, like, what's done in the dark. Um, things we're unaware of, they usually do come to light. So I think that um, that along with the Seven of Swords, so that's also that Lies and Deception card again, like the same card, right? Lies and Deceptions, Lies and Deception, Dishonesty. So I think this dishonest situation is going to come to light. Um, and then the Seven of Cups could be a wish fulfillment. So the Seven of Cups could be your wish fulfillment. It also could be multiple options. So to me, maybe this situation, this connection is going to either open up options for you or for them or for the both of you. Um, but something's going to come to light here. You're going to move on to calmer waters after something comes to light due to deception. So perhaps it could be your wish fulfillment. I mean, the Seven of Cups has multiple meanings, so it could be a wish fulfillment situation. You're moving on with your person or... You're moving on to a wish fulfillment of someone new <laughs> or it's many options like so um, having lots of options, lots of cups available. So lots of offers of love. So maybe leaving this person if you feel like Taurus, you, you feel like you need to move on from this person because they're just too messed up. Um, you'll have a lot of other options opening because there's a lot of deception and distrust in this situation. Um, so we're going to get a Romance or Angel Oracle card by Doreen Virtue for Taurus. This could be the one worth waiting for on the bottom. So you already met your romantic partner you seek and divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah, maybe you just need to kind of give space and heal your heart since you've got this... Um, this heartbreak with the conflict. Your person needs to get their their ducks in order. That's a nice way to say it. Um, we're going to get a twin flame journey message from your person. Taurus, what does your person have to say to you, Taurus? Well, being apart has been life-changing for me. I still love you. Yeah, being apart has been life-changing for me. I still love you. Worth waiting for. This could be the one. It could be. Can you hang in there, Taurus? Can you figure out if it's worth waiting for yourself? It says it is. The cards say it is. All right. So we are going to get one last message from the Divine Dog Wisdom cards. And these. Are, this is often just general guidance. So we'll see. Um, it's hard to get one card from these sometimes. Taurus, it says, Wild Dog, answer the call. So answer the call, Taurus. What is that call for you? Is it to stick it out? Is it to move to be part of teamwork even after this deception? Is it to move on to calmer waters with this person? Is it to move on to calmer waters with somebody else? I don't know. You tell me, Taurus. But if you guys like this video or if it resonated with you, please put some comments below. Um, let me know. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate some feedback. Um, once again, Taurus, thanks so much. I really appreciate your uh, watching this video. Until next time, you guys, take care, okay? Bye-bye.